We're gonna have rat tonight. We're gonna have rat tonight. Hi. What are you doing? We're gonna have rat tonight. You just special. Everybody likes the new guy but me? I'm chopped liver. If it can be bought, it can be found at Mick and Ralph's. again. I'm retired, but life has been a bit dull without some kind of action. What's the job? Ah, I get you. So you think because of my past escort work, I'd be interested in that kind of thing. I got out of that work because it just made me feel empty inside. What makes you think I would ever go back to that degradation? I never put much thought into the well-being my clients got out of my services. I suppose they only get as much as I put into it. Tell Garrett I'd be happy to start at the Wrangler immediately. This should be a nice change of pace from retirement. Till next time. The only thing I know for certain is that I don't know nothing. They already have that pig McCaffrey working for them. Do they need another guard? Uh, I've escorted my share of idiot tourists around Freeside. Too much trouble for what it pays. I'm all boot knives and leather, friend. And a ghoul besides. What kind of weirdo wants what I've got? Weirdos into bullwhips and necrosis, huh? <sighs> Doesn't sound half bad. What am I thinking? I'm no whore. And I ain't about to hand my ass over to some penny ante hustler like he owns me. Now 
now you're talking. I suppose I could sleaze it up a bit for their customers if it means I have a non-stop supply of drink. Tell the Garrets I'm in. I'll make my way there shortly. Bye. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The King says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. We've got stuff...
be alarmed. Force will be restored soon. Please stand by. Fully integrated security technotronic officer active and reporting for duty. Yes, ma'am. Vesto reporting for duty. Please assume the position. Servos active. Operation complete. Thank you for your business. Numbness will subside in several minutes, awaiting further orders. Yes, ma'am. People are talking, buddy. You've made quite an impression on the strip. Hello again. Yep. It's uh, great to be up here, looking down at all your smiling faces. That won't last long. This gal's so sharp-eyed, she cuts herself every time she blinks. I hear you got a ready wit. Tell me when it's ready. Hey, look at this gal. I didn't know they let Brahmin into this joint. Sister, you look tough enough to drink a pint of glowing water. Why don't you do us all a favor and try it? Somebody told me the other day you were bright. I wasn't sure if you meant smart or radioactive. Look at you. You look like a talent scout for a cemetery. Was that suit made to order? It was. And where were you at the time? If you had your life to live over again, let me make a suggestion. Play in traffic. This gal right here, she got an angel looking over her shoulder. If I were her, I'd get a restraining order. The more I think of you, the less I think of you. Bye. Hello. Shove off. You're making my luck turn bad. No. No matter what that old bitch McLafferty says, my dad said I could be in charge of the New Vegas branch. Besides, I got into a little money trouble with the Omertas. If I quit the Crimson Caravan, how am I supposed to get the money to gamble? What? No, no, wait. Look, I just need time. Don't rat me out to them. You want me to quit the Crimson Caravan? Fine, I quit. You can tell McLafferty that she won't see my face again. Good day. Hey, chum. Welcome back. House may have boxed us out of the strip, but we also don't have to deal with their bullshit. I think now that the followers are working with us, we'll be able to shape up Freeside a bit more. 
You did? Ha, <laughs> damn! I've been looking for one of those for years. For my customers, I mean, I'm not into that kind of shit. You're right, you're right. Something like this. It's worth a little extra because it's gonna keep on satisfying you. <coughs> Those disgusting fetishists, I mean. Something wrong with someone if they gotta fuck a machine. It is! It will? My god, imagine the possibilities. It didn't happen to come with an owner's manual, did it? Ah, forget it. Trial and error should do it. And who would that be? I've heard some stories of that old guy. I'm amazed he's still alive with how much he's been through. If the stories are true, he'll be a valuable commodity here at the Wrangler. I appreciate the find. Imagine that! What's his name and when's he start? A she, huh? Well... I guess the customer who made that request can't get everything he wants. Hell, who knows? He might not even notice the difference. Bye. Howdy. Goodbye. Howdy. Fucking expensive to get into the strip these days. What's up? Good to see a friend of our government.
You got something to say, or do you always look like that? You stick out like a sore thumb around here. You sure you're in the right place? Now, what kind of MP would I be if I didn't notice anything suspicious? I've had soldiers go AWOL, break-ins, thefts, you name it. Well, there's Anders. He's a ranger. That one's not suspicious so much as worrisome. He left on a dangerous assignment. Colonel Shu sent him out. Now I think he feels guilty not having any way to check up on him. I don't know him very well myself. I seem to remember that he was the man to call on if you needed someone to get in and get out quietly. Colonel Shu would really be the person to talk to. Not the kind of things you like to see go missing. No witnesses yet. I've got my money on Sergeant Contreras, who's supposed to be in charge of distribution, the little weasel. But he's too slick to let anyone catch him doing it. We've searched his possessions a dozen times. Nothing. Good. The more guns you can recover, the more I'll be able to use to shoot Contreras for being inept. Maybe break-in isn't the right word. We didn't find signs of forced entry. But I've had reports of someone sneaking into the control tower at night. It's probably just a meeting spot for a steamy military base love affair. <sighs> Kids today. But it bothers me that they didn't break in. It means they have an access code. Most soldiers around the base don't have that. Sure, if you want to investigate. It's not like there's anything to steal up there. Just a bunch of old communications equipment. If you can find out any more, I'd be interested to hear it. There's something about this I really don't like. And if I weren't tied up here, I'd be staking it out personally. Not big on reading name tags, huh? That's okay. My name is long and difficult to pronounce. Ready for it? It's Boyd. Lieutenant Boyd to my friends. Colonel Shu has me handling the policing duties for the base. I've told him he could make my job a whole lot easier if he would just let me shoot anyone who talks back to me. But you know how colonels can be. Yeah, so far this has gone exactly as expected. Poorly. But with the work you've done for NCR already, you might be just what I've been looking for. We captured an honest-to-god centurion of Caesar's Legion recently. Better believe it. Everybody. Everybody in Caesar's Legion, from Caesar on down, will kill themselves before they can be captured. They're so twitchy they'd probably do it if you reached out to hug them. But here's this guy, who's an elite commander in their army and he just gives himself up, even as his men are slitting their own throats around him. Well, I don't know about you, but to me that sounds like a man who's willing to cooperate. Except he hasn't. Only times he speaks up are to insult you. He's a real prick, by the way. And I'm supposed to get information out of this guy. Don't have anything like that. Sounds nice. Like the kind of thing I'd want to take home and use on my husband. But even if we did, I don't know that I'd be comfortable using it. If there's any risk of overdose, it's not worth it. Asshole's too valuable. Yes, and one time I thought I saw a tear when I told him his uniform was unflattering. But I think he just got some dust in his eye. I like the way you think. Have I said that yet? Problem is that the NCR frowns on using that sort of tactic. There are some restrictions still in place from President Tandy's administration. But here's my favorite thing about you. You're not in the NCR. Plus, for all this guy knows, you're completely insane. That's a winning combination. I think if you rough him up enough, and really put some fear into him, he'll sing like a choir boy. So let's do this. When you're ready, I'll go in and give you a little intro. Then I leave the room, and you make him regret the day he was born. We go back and forth a couple times until either he talks or he can't move his jaw anymore. Either way, we've had our entertainment for the day. That's the spirit. Okay, I'll go in and have a word with him. Then I'll call you in.
Long time no see, Silus. Lieutenant. I was just thinking about you. That's so. I was. I was just thinking about that pretty neck of yours. How sweet. I was thinking about how it would look with a Legion slave collar on it. I'll pass. Do you know what I love about our slave collars, Lieutenant? If you love them, maybe you should try one on. I love how tightly they fit. I train my men to make sure the slave's flesh bulges a bit around the top and bottom. Know why? It's all the rage in fashion circles? Not quite. If you fit it just right, their body never gets used to the feeling of wearing it. It cuts in just enough when they swallow or turn their head to remind them who they belong to. And it's that constant reminder that keeps them docile. In that case, maybe you'd better save the collar you were gonna give me. Oh? For whom? For a friend of mine you're about to meet. My friend isn't very docile. And who is this friend of yours? You know all the rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners of war? Of course. My friend doesn't. Oh, and Silus, if you resist at all, I'll personally blow your brains out. Come on in, he's all yours. I'll be back in a bit to see how you're getting along. And I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. You can pick them up from the locker on your way out. Should have brought something to read. What an ugly little worm you are. What pile of excrement did the lieutenant pluck you from, worm? I can take anything you've got. Watch out! All right, you can stop for a sec. Whoa, I worry too easy much. there. You're supposed to rough him up a little, not kill him. Why don't you step outside a minute? Let off some steam. Nice job. I think my friend doesn't like you, Silus. I don't know how much longer I can keep her under control. You think this will make me talk? A beating? This is the best you can do? Not just any beating, Silus. A savage beating. A beating that you'll be reminded of every time you feel pain from now on. When my friend's done with you, you won't have any of your teeth left. You'll be drinking your food through a straw. Your ribs will never heal properly, and it will hurt every time you breathe. It'll be like your collars, Silus. Impossible to forget. Go to hell. Huh. Not the sort of wit I've come to expect from you, Silus. You're getting nothing from me. I'm getting entertainment. That's something. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna spill your guts to me? Or am I gonna let my friend the maniac back in here for some playtime? Silus? Silent treatment, huh? Have it your way. Come on back in. I think he misses you. Oh, and let me check you for weapons one more time. For your safety as well as his. Enough, this is pointless. I'm dead to the Legion either way, I'll tell you what I know. But you should know that Kaisar has always kept his own counsel. He never reveals anything that would make him vulnerable. My knowledge will not prevent the inevitable. This camp will be ash within months. Maybe weeks. Something is wrong with Kaisar. Something he is attempting to hide from his men. 
but it was obvious before we set out on this last mission. For three days we awaited his order to dispatch us. Three days. But he hid in his tent, refusing to give orders, complaining of headaches. He looks different now than he used to. His face is sunken, sickly, but any questioning of his health enrages him. There is one other thing that may interest you. I know that Kaisar has planted a spy here. Every night, details of NCR troop movements are broadcast from a radio on this base to Kaisar's camp. The spy has been here a long time, since before the entire conflict began. He's an officer. If I knew who he was, I would tell you. If I escape and he's alive to report it, the Legion would hunt me down. But like I said, none of this information will change the outcome for you. No force can hold back the tide of the Legion. Aw, oh, just when the standing around was getting exciting. That was fun to watch. I'd have you do it again, but I'd probably get in trouble. This'll do the NCR a lot of good, so you should be proud. Here's the standard fee. Plus, I threw in the price of a good show on the Strip. That's from me, personally. You can beat up my prisoners anytime. Yep, see you around. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. Contreras is holding out on me. I know he's got more to sell. Hello? 